what's up y'all so we are currently sitting at the hospital they have literally like big giant i don't even know what to call it it looks like the ice age where it's like those white things over people everybody have their masks nobody could come in like marcel and the kids are outside um in the car because they can't have nobody in the hospital but the patient is being seen and yeah come on Mommy is not feeling too good right now. <clears throat> He's not feeling The thing about me, like when my babies get sick and I'm not sick, I be so mad because I just want it. Like, and I be so much in their face. Sorry, y'all. The doctors came in here and they was talking. But I was just saying, like, I be wanting it to suck into me so I can feel the way that they feeling. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if this going to be uploaded because... <clears throat> I don't even want people, I don't know, like, they didn't even want to record. It's been a lot going on this morning, you know, from giving them the um, machine, the airway machine. And the um, doctor actually just said they want to kind of stay away from airway machines. So I just want to let y'all know, if y'all are using the airway machine, um, you know, where you dump the liquid and you put it on here. If one of your kids have asthma, just don't use that because they said with the COVID going on, they really trying to stay away. So we are going to just use inhalers at this point. And I'm so glad to know that because <clears throat> Nana actually was feeling bad um, a couple of days ago. And I had did the same thing and used that also. You know, they do their Nutriburst, steam showers, all of that. But so at this point, they are testing him for the COVID, they said, because is you know some few symptoms and things like that <sighs> so i would just be keeping y'all updated and um all of that because he's not feeling so good you see yeah he said he's not feeling so good but line i know when line is kind of you know you know when your kids is kind of is or not but he really don't look good at all so yeah, but first thing first is God, we gonna pray and we gonna believe my baby is good. So yeah, I'll make sure I'll just pray, keep praying, and I'll keep y'all updated. But the doctors and them did come in here and they did, you know, run a little test, but now they about to do x-rays and run a lot more tests at this point. Sure, I won't be recording all of that at all, but I definitely will be back to keep y'all updated. So yeah. Okay. Well, your lungs. And then there's your back, your spine right there. There's my heart again. That this whole big white thing right there. Right <laughs> there. That's Looks heart? funny on the inside, huh? What <laughs> else do you wanna know? Wanna know anything else? that that's your arm it's called a humerus and then there's your shoulder and then here's all the buttons on your gown you see them all right there and your stomach is that black thing right there mm. see everything best thing to do is just put it in there they're yeah, right if he's ever had them before but now that would help with like swelling and things like that. Yeah, so it's gonna help with swelling in his lungs. Oh, okay. You know, it helps with swelling everywhere, but you know, we're giving it to him for his lungs, so. I gotta get mask off. Obviously, I'm not going through the mask. <laughs> okay, come Just on, take, take it all the way off, buddy, so that we can get all this down. Just swallow. That's what I would do. And then you can eat the rest of it. That's all of it, so tastes bitter. Okay, you want to finish it, and then you can eat whatever you were eating. Lani, you asleep? Your mouth piece off. You're gonna put this piece in your mouth. You're gonna clip it once, and then take a big breath in. Okay. We're gonna try it. Okay. Put it in your mouth. So big breath in. Now hold your breath and count to ten. So I'm gonna take this out. Keep holding your breath. When you get to ten, just blow out normal. Perfect. 
Yep. Good job, boo. So that was perfect. So that breath hold is really important. That keeps that medicine in your lungs. Okay. Okay. So you Good just job. put one in regular and then hold. So usually it, the um, dosage will be on the prescription that it gives okay. you. Usually it's usually one or two doses mm -hmm. and you want to do them separate. So you okay. don't want to do two pops mm -hmm. at once. It'll be one pop. Take the big breath in, hold it. Wait a minute and then do another pop okay. and do the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all, just updating y'all. It's about an hour later. Line is over here. Snoring, not out, y'all. Um, so I'm literally just waiting for them to see what's next. I know we missed the step. They did the little swab of his nose. He didn't like that at all. Um, and then when the video was just getting cut off when he was taking the medicine, it was actually my mom and she was just telling me like no vaccines, don't do any vaccines. The reason I'm telling y'all this is because like, you know, we all need to know. I wish I really would have knew about that airway because like I said, I used it on my daughter. Um, Cause we had been getting like six symptoms at, at one of the kids or something here and there. And what I seen is it, you know, like sneaks up, it'll hit somebody like with asthma stuff way more than just somebody that don't have it. And Lani and Nana have asthma. So, you know, like, I just want to let y'all know, beware of that so y'all can know, because that should be, like, really told, you know? Like, don't use those airways more than, and he was, like, real serious. Like, don't use them, so stay away from those. Um, so, yeah, but that was a step y'all missed. And can you stop touching my face, right? I was just telling Lonnie to stop doing that. But he sounded like he's breathing good. You know, he snored real tired. Um, go on, like, no, that's it. I'm talking about take me back to that. Oh, and I'm sitting here trying to talk to y'all. So, um, mm, yeah, but that's what's going on. You know, I was just praying. Kind of hit me hard. I just, just want everything to be okay. You know, like, it's too much going on. I don't like, it's just so many coincidences, y'all, that's just really getting to me. But at the end of the day, I have to just remember that God has the last say. So many coincidences. Uh -uh. <sighs> just too much stuff going on, y'all. But I just really pray that we are okay. Like, we do our vitamins and we do our procedures to make sure everything is cool. Um, we're going to actually, you know, like, get him in a high steam shower and all of that once we get back. And, you know, like, and we're going to care for all of the kids as if they, you know, like, have anything, like, going forward since he's been in contact with all of us and things of that nature. And like they said, we will get the test back in, like, several days, a few days or whatever. So, we're going to be waiting for that test. But God got us, y'all. And even if it was anything to go on or anything with all of this, hmm gun stuff, government stuff. We just still gonna put God in front of it all and that's all we really gotta do. But I feel like this is the best time of your life to actually find him. To find Jesus Christ. It's a lot going on. A lot of coincidences, like I said. So just stay safe, y'all. Um, yeah, stay safe y'all like to say and pray for us you know like i'm not the type of youtuber that likes to come and make signs and be like oh we have this or that or that no i don't believe speaking on that i don't understand how some youtubers will write a stat a thing the clickbait type of things and be like tested this or playing a prank with this virus that's going on like it's just nothing to play with i really don't respect that type of stuff because it's like this is nothing to play with. It's no time to play. So, um, like I said, I didn't even really want to record or anything in that nature. But at the moment, you know, I felt like everything was cool. Like, I couldn't record when there was so much going on this morning. From us doing the freaking airway thing to doing all of these procedures, doing all of this. Because I'm just trying to make sure my baby is okay. So, it's like, when those things is going on, it's hard to just pick up the camera and show, you know. But it's like everything is calming down, everything, you know, even though he's not feeling so good, 
some more time i can let y'all in on a little bit of stuff and give y'all some advice so y'all can take care of you and your family also for what i know because i know the doctors is limited people they're not giving people this test they said unless they feel like the people really need it they are sending a lot of people home that's trying to get this test so i'm just giving y'all the steps of what they do and how they do it and um after this video also i'll probably like record day to day of what i do and i'll keep y'all updated on like results and things like that but the doctor is coming in now all right y'all so the doctor just spoke we are right here sorry i had to cut it off i, I don't know why i cut it off i just don't want to be like up or recording inside of their face or whatever but we are about to get ready to get discharged so basically as the doctor was just saying you know like he didn't test back for flu for anything in that nature um he's not testing back positive for anything but you know like he was saying that's not 100 percent. that's not you know like really good because now you know they don't see what's going on um so it doesn't mean anything basically for the covid stuff so we basically have to wait four to five days for the test. He's about to give us the discharge papers, everything that we have to follow for that. And I will keep y'all updated on everything that we have to follow, um, the procedures that we have to follow, whatever. We, the quarantine, however you say it, we're about to take procedure and go hard with that. Make sure the whole household is cool. And like I said, I'll keep y'all updated day by day and in about five days to when we do get the test and how everything went with that. Um, but we got God. That's all. So that's the best thing about this is just having God by our side. You know, like I think I had like dried up tears, all type of stuff, but we got God. And he's so tired, like he he been really tired. So it just makes me, you know, it gets to me because like you know, like the symptoms, just the breathing, the coughing, the tiredness. It's just like it's so stressful. But oh, I'm sorry, my hands are shaking like crazy. But yes, I will definitely update y'all. Like my hands is really shaking. I will definitely keep y'all updated. So see y'all in a little bit. What's up, y'all? So I'm updating y'all. We're back right now. He's in his steam shower, things in that nature. And um, so, yeah, we had filled the prescriptions. We got the prescriptions and things in that nature also. Then we just have basically like what you're supposed to do and all of that good stuff. And, um, you know, it just like just gives us information on how to handle. Y'all know the discharge papers and stuff like that for um Guys. for the COVID virus. It's like all types of stuff that I would definitely be reading over, checking, following the procedures, making sure that everything is good. And then, like I said, I will update y'all. I'm going to probably do like routines um, a day just to show y'all just like. What we are doing at home but i believe god and i believe that everything is totally fine and everything will be just fine um definitely believe that everything will be good so yeah but i'll definitely still keep y'all updated just stay safe and you know like so just be careful at the end of the day because even though it's a lot of elderly people that is getting it it is some young and it definitely can be spread um through so many different people, you know, so we don't just want to label like a one person thing. We still want to take the precaution and, um, you know, like do what we're supposed to do at the end of the day to make sure that this stuff don't spread and at least that we are preventing it from spreading or getting anywhere, you know. So we definitely are doing that quarter team thing and we'll be in the house and we'll be making sure that these babies are okay, um, you know, that everybody is good and everything in that nature so yeah i'll definitely see y'all in about five days when tests get updated and then i'll let y'all know also how he's been doing and all of that good stuff so yeah just sharing a little bit of what's going on but i'm feeling better pray and what comes after praying believing and you gotta believe after you pray so that's what's going on this way i love y'all oh don't mind this 
It's still up. I know. They got to come down. 